Hi, I'm Jimmy Leslie, and today we'll be creating a botanical scene using the new Liquitex Basics Acrylic Fluid Colors. For a surface, we'll be using the Liquitex Basic Paper. This happens to be a 9 by 12 pad. For our colors, we'll be using Light Green Permanent, Brilliant Purple, Light Blue Permanent, Bright Aqua Green, Quinacridone Magenta, Primary Yellow, Cadmium Orange Hue, and Titanium White. We'll also be using a Filbert number 12 brush, as well as a round number six and a round number one. Our first step in recreating this botanical scene will be placing the background color down, which was done with Cadmium Orange Hue. So in my example here, I've already got my background taped out. This happens to be five by seven in size, but you can make that any size you like. And we'll put a little bit of our Cadmium Orange Hue on the palette. I'm gonna use the Filbert number 12. Filbert's just a brush that tapers. It's almost like a flat brush, but it, it kind of curves in. And we'll load up our brush with the Basics Acrylic Fluid. Now, as the name suggests, it's quite fluid. So you can see you can really cover very, very quickly. One shot like that brings you almost all the way down to the bottom of this surface. And you don't have to be fancy in laying down your color. You know, you can, you can come down in even strokes like that. Or if you like, you know, you can scrub the whole thing in, what we call scumbling, as long as you cover the whole area. So once we've got that done, we can let that dry a few more minutes and then we can get started. Once your surface is dry, we can remove the tape. So we'll peel that off and that'll give us our nice clean edge. You just wanna do that gently. I like to use a low adhesive tape. One of the things while I'm peeling the rest of this off, you wanna think about your inspiration for this botanical scene. And there could be a number of things. You might have plants around your house, maybe in your yard, or you can also obviously do a search on the internet and pull up images of your favorite plants. Because there's so many varieties of shapes and sizes, what I really like about things like that in organic forms is that you have a lot of leeway with them. You can have a lot of fun and you don't have to feel as if you have to stick to the exact forms. Now, one of the things that I did is I created a little sketch in my sketchbook. So I did a little plan of what I wanted to do and you can do that. I think it's a nice thing to do uh, multiple times maybe to give yourself different variations and then you can begin your painting process. I'm gonna start with our largest shapes, which are these leaves, the green ones right here. So to do that, we're gonna put out a little bit of bright aqua green and we'll also put out some titanium white. What I'm gonna do is use the number six round brush. And you don't have to worry about ratios so much. It's not a formula. You can have fun and do that to your liking. And when you do this, if you feel more comfortable starting with a, a pencil sketch on your background, that's fine. I'm comfortable with the brush, so I'm gonna dive right in with the brush and, and draw with that. So I'm gonna get my big shape right here. Just make a teardrop shape and we'll fill that in. You know, one of the things I do when I think about very graphic shapes like this, to really think about balancing big shapes with small shapes, bright tones with more muted tones. For our other flower shapes, we're gonna use some brilliant purple. So we'll put a little bit of that out on our palette. And we're also going to use light blue permanent. We've already got white out, so that's fine. We don't need any more of that at the moment. And I'm gonna use a smaller brush now. I'm gonna take our number one round and I'll just pick up a little bit of white and our brilliant purple. Just lighten that up just a little bit. And we're gonna come in with some of these shapes. So these sort of rounded forms here. It's almost like a four leaf clover shape. Now, because this is such a, a fluid paint, the basic acrylic fluid does not need to be diluted with water. You're gonna find that that's gonna brush on nicely without having to make it thinner. Let's come back in and we'll, we'll place these blue flower shapes in. So I'm gonna clean off my brush. I'm just have some water off to the side. And I'm gonna take some of that light blue permanent and again, a little bit of white. We'll mix those up. What I have in our design is almost a, it was like a tulip shape. Now, if you have something that's a little more wet here, just kind of be careful. Uh, you know, I'm gonna put my 
my pinky down in this dry area so that's not going to be an issue but you just kind of want to be careful of that a little bit don't let that be something that really worries you you can always come back and you can adjust and you can repaint a section so that's not a big deal Okay, let's add in our red flower shapes. And we're gonna do that with quinacridone magenta. It's a deep blue red. And I'm gonna use our round number six. I'm just gonna use that straight from the tube. It's a really pretty color. And we'll come in here and make these flower shapes. And I can sort of use the really pointed end of that brush to make these petals. And the basics acrylic fluid, again, since it is so very fluid, it's really nice for like if I wanted to really draw a fine line, I can really do that quite easily. I think I'm gonna use our small brush again. So I'll use the round number one and I'm going to take the light green permanent and we'll use that straight out of the tube and we can get these fine stem shapes. And while we have that out, Let's get a little bit wispy with these shapes here. Let's put another, another petal down here. We're gonna do a second coat on the leaves here because one of the things I wanna do, I wanna take a little bit of the primary yellow and I just wanna lighten and warm those up a bit. I think they're a little bit blue, so know that you can make those adjustments as well. I'm gonna take a little bit of the bright aqua green and some of our white again. And we're just gonna add some yellow into that. Oh yeah, look at that, that brightens that up quite nicely. So I'm gonna take that color and I've got the round number six. I've got that loaded up. And I don't even mind if a little bit of the other color shows through. I think there's some nice variation in that. And at the same time, when you're adding this, you know, you can refine the shapes a little bit. So if you wanna change the shape or if we wanted that point to maybe overlap the other flower, we could or if you wanna make it a little wider, you could. Now I'm gonna clean that brush off really good. And I think we'll just put a second coat on our blue flowers. So we'll take that light blue permanent and just come up here. I wanna make those a little bit more pointy. Okay, let's finish up with our details. Again, I'm gonna use the round number one and I'm gonna take some of our light green permanent and we'll just add the veins to these leaves. And I think I'm gonna clean off my brush and I'm gonna take some of the base color. I have some of that still on my surface. So I'll just come down here because this is a darker leaf form. And then let's fill in our little spots on the uh, violet flowers with white. So we can come right in here, same brush, and just tap that right into there. It gives us almost a perfect round shape. And once we do that, let's clean off the brush again. And then we'll use the primary yellow now. And we'll come in here, do the same thing. Dab that in the middle. Maybe make those a little bit bigger because that's a bigger flower shape. And I think we need some of our other little Oh, I don't know, forsythias or something like that, those little, little shapes. So I'm just flicking with the brush. So I'm putting my brush down and then just flicking real quick. Let's kind of fill in these spots with other shapes like, like the yellow that we have here. So these can be sort of more random they've got a nice way to balance that space in between here. You don't have to put a shape in every little space. Little moments like that can be kind of nice. And then once we do that, clean off the brush and let's do the same thing. We'll pick up a little bit of that light blue permanent. We'll get a few of those in there. And we'll just do the same thing with white here. Those provide a nice pop against that really strong cadmium orange hue. And there you have it. 